being able to live after doing the fighting under enemy fire. Staying alive. Six amphibious invasions and still live. When you read that history of uh, First Sergeant Nelson, it's just incredible. And this division, 3rd Infantry Division, is probably one of the most historic and um, uh, earned more medal honors than any other division in World War II. And he's part of that. I mean, from the very beginning when he landed in Morocco, all the way through to, you know, up in liberated Rome. He is an example for all of us of leadership, courage, determination, and selfless service that we expect from all our soldiers today. On his way to Rome, he was pinned down, him and his soldiers were pinned down by enemy machine gun fire from an abandoned house. But he knew he needed to take action in order to take care of his soldiers. So he jumped up on an abandoned German tank, grabbed the turret machine gun, and suppressed the Germans in that house. While he was doing this, a German soldier snuck up behind him and threw a hand grenade behind him, which destroyed his backpack on his back. And, but he continued to fire that machine gun and didn't stop. Sergeant Harold A. Nelson, United States Army, for gallantry in action on 22 January 1944, while serving as a non-commissioned officer with Company Foxtrot, 2nd Battalion, 7th Infantry Regiment, during the assault lady at Zanzio, Italy. Nelson's actions are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his command, and the United States Army. The 2022 Marne Hall of Fame selection was... And all my men, they were really good. They were good to me. They were good at combat men, too. Came back. Somehow, this whole thing went through and we're It's very emotional. I'm glad to be able to serve my country.